G'day, we're talking about horse transfers today, which is where you transfer the horse records from one person to another. Uh, for example, you do this if you've sold the horse, uh, you would forward their records to the new person you sold to, or if you've purchased the horse, they would forward details to you. If you lease your horse out, or maybe just uh, lend your pony to a friend, but they're going to be taking over uh, the farrier work or medication or whatever that horse needs, you would forward the record to them for management under horse records. So let's get to it. So I've got a horse here, Rennick. I'm going to transfer him. And I'm just going to pick my friend, and uh, my friend's name is Tim. So I just go, uh, thanks Tim, um, good to meet you yesterday. Uh, funds have been received, which is what we all want when we sell a horse. Okay, I'll just fix the grammar so that my mother-in-law can look me in the eye. Okay, and then if I just click here, send transfer request, and what that does is that emails Tim and says, hey Tim, um, uh, Andy has forwarded Rannick to you, uh, please click the link and take it over. So let's look at the email that Tim would get. So this is the email Tim would get, uh, it's from Horse Records, uh, it's got the horse's name in the subject, um, and then it just says Andy has transferred the horse records for Rannick to you Tim said and here's the message I meant I uh, sent just recently now all Tim has to do is click on this link um, if he's not a member of horse records he'll be asked to join you can get your first horse for free so everyone will be able to join for free and at least manage one horse um, so let's click on that link and uh, let's pretend I've done it and I'll go to Tim's horse records so here I am in Tim's horse records as you can see um, in the new transfers menu item horse transfer list says incoming uh, the horse is Rannick and it's from Andy uh, that's Tim's email address and uh, let's have a look at it if I'm Tim okay so I'll view it and it just has the message again um, now Tim calls horse groups barns as opposed to stables or studs and that's that's his choice so Tim can select which barn or stable or horse group he is allowed to add horses to to add Rannick to okay so these are the three so he's going to add it to obviously Tim's really awesome horses so all he has to do is hit accept transfer and as you can see the messages transfer is accepted uh, Rannick's now on Tim's really awesome horses so if I went up to here and clicked on there I'd get up Rannick you can also see in the completed tab that there's uh, some other transfers I've done. Probably can't see that because of my big head, but you can see Rennick is actually listed there. Um, and, uh, you know, that that's just for your records. Now, if I go back to Andy's records that we had at the start, after a quick page refresh of Andy's records, you can see in the completed, Andy can see now that uh, it was accepted by Tim. So everything's good. Now, if I wanted to transfer another horse and I make a mistake, I can always cancel the transfer. I can resend the email if Tim calls me up and says he's lost the email. Um, and it just sits in incoming transfers there, oh, sorry, outgoing transfers there until it is resolved and hits in completed. So that's horse transfers. Pretty exciting little feature that we've added today. It's the last major feature I'm adding before we um, begin testing. Uh, I've just got to do all the account and profile stuff so you have different levels of horse records depending on how many horses you're managing and there'll be a different amount that you pay each month for the, for the number of horses. First horse is free, the next, the first paying level is $12 um, a month uh, but if you chat nicely there'll be a voucher there to give you 20 percent off and the other levels are coming soon so i'll be working on that next i uh, hope you enjoyed this video let us know what happened down in the comments thanks